me. <laughs> I'm doing a floss too because um, I want to show you where I am with a lot of my projects. And you know me, I always have way more than one going on. Um, it just depends on what I'm in the mood for. If I want to crochet or loom knit or cross stitch or diamond paint. Um, there is a lot of things going on diamond painting wise, you know, deadlines that I had to meet, um, self-imposed, but, um, it's so I can move on to the next diamond painting project, but then I've got all these beautiful loom, you know, the floss tube things to show you. So let me show you this one here is a, um, it's a scarf that I started in Craft With Me Wednesday a couple weeks ago. I am loving the color. I will insert a picture um, so you can see what it's supposed to look like when I'm done. Pockets and all. I've never done pockets, but that should be fun. But I love, love, love this color. You know, the gray and the pink um, and the way it goes from this border down here. But what I discovered after I got started on this thing was that it's not gonna be long enough for me. So I need to stop making stuff for me anyway. <laughs> but um, so this is this is the length of it. It's, um, it was, I believe, chain 157 stitches. So, um, and I'm using a J hook, number 10. So I'm gonna give this away for Christmas because guess who's had her eye on it? Yes, Malia. She, all of a sudden, Malia, who doesn't like pink, likes the combination of pink and gray, I think, because she saw this. And yes, this is the hook that I lost, and I finally found it. So, okay, so that's where I am on this. Um, the row number, I can tell you, seven... Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, row 20. Um, and then I have to go through um, 30 before I go back to the next border. So it's coming along really nicely now that I've got my hook here. Um, we're not going to lose it again. So I'm going to fold that up. We're almost ready to switch to the next skein of yarn so we're going to put this aside and look at the next thing so once i figured out that um that was going to be too small and um i really hadn't i had planned to make one for myself at a later time but what happened was i fourth of july i go over to my son's house and i think i told this story and there was nothing to do because i got there so daggum early because malia was with me and she wanted to go home and change so I ran to um, Joann's and got this, I got a skein of this Scarfy, Lions Brand Scarfy yarn. And oh my God, I love this yarn. Oh, it feels so nice. I only, it was like, you know, 15 minutes to seven and they were closing at seven and they kept announcing, we're closing, we're closing. I, pro I was probably the only one in the store. So I picked this up and I picked up a hook. This is, um, I went up a size, this is an 11. Um, and I also went up to a five instead of a four on the yarn. But then what I did when I, um, so what I did was I went back to my son's house and sat in the lawn chair up front while everybody chit chatted. And I mean, I contributed the conversation as well. Um, you know, all the neighbors were there, but everybody kind of kept to themselves in front of their houses because of the social distancing thing. But, you know, we were all waving and talking to each other. But um, instead of chaining 157, I went much longer with this one because I do want this one for myself. So it's, it's quite a bit longer than the first scarf. So I have just now started row seven on this one. Um, and I just love this. So what I have to do is order. I'm going to order it online uh, when I get paid. It's a pink, silver, rose, argent, um, lion brand number five. So I'm going to order a few skeins of this. Um, maybe two more. I, I don't know if I need two more. Um, but yeah. So when I get paid, 
that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna order that. I got a lot of things to do when I get paid. Last payday, oh my God, I had to put the down payment on the car. So that kind of left me broke <laughs> for a while. So that's this second scarf that I wasn't gonna start right away, but I did. So what else is going on? Oh, because I lost that hook, <laughs> one of my subscribers sent me this holder. Now she let me pick it, pick it out and no, pink was not available. So I chose this blue dot and I really love it. So this is so I can hold all of my hooks and I've already put the ones that I own in here. So I've got all of these hooks and then on this side you can put other things. So I've put needles in here, um, sewing needles, you know, for crochet. And then I've put the little tassel makers there. Um, and this is great because I can take it like, just pack this up and take it to the retreat with me, the diamond painting retreat. Cause I'll probably at night while I'm in bed, chit chatting with everybody, maybe do some crochet as well. So here's the other crochet needles that I had minus one because as I, after I got all these in here, I was closing it up and one flew out and I haven't found it yet. <laughs> yes, that's my luck. I have this one. I don't remember buying this one but it's different than all the rest and it's kind of plastic, but yeah, it's just different. So then um, the other thing I put in here was a tape measure, um, the placeholders and some more needles. So I just think this is awesome. Oh my God, I love it, love, love it. So that came off of Amazon and I will put a link in the description where you can get one as well. So, then the subscriber also sent to me, um, and it's Nereida. I, God love Nereida. She just uh, enables my floss habit like you wouldn't believe, <laughs> and I just love her. So she sent me this book called Scarfy, and it's um, it's put out by Leisure Arts. I just got it in the mail today, so I really haven't had a chance to uh, flip through it. So I thought I'd do it with you guys real quick. Um so it's, it's actually brought to you by Lion Brand and Leisure Arts. They uh, collaborated on this little book and they're promoting the Scarfy yarn, which is what I'm using on that second scarf. And like I said, I love it. Love, love, love it. So for each one of the projects in here, it'll give you like a little shopping list. Isn't that cool? It gives you a little shopping list and then um, it, it gives you the sizes and it will tell you up at the top whether it's an easy or medium or hard pattern. So I have not looked through here. So obviously there's like the cutest hat there. Um, I was thinking I'd like to make my son something. Okay, this is um, a poncho. Nice. That's a, a beginner as well. I don't, I've never thought about a poncho, but that's well oh look at that oh my god look at the colors in this afghan oh so pretty and that's a beginner one as well i like that oh i'm gonna i've got all kinds of stuff going on now this one's called a bobble cowl and boy do i like that oh yeah i want one of those oh man i want to make all of these Wow, okay. This is a shrug. Oh, nice. Very nice, very, very nice. I wanna make something for my son, like a scarf or something. Now here, this is called Ruana. I, I don't know, it's called Ruana. That's what it looks like. Um. I'm looking for the, like this one on the cover for my son. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. These are all easy. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Oh, so pretty. Oh, I love that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be, oh, look at it. You can, isn't that pretty? The colors are gorgeous too. Wow. All right, so there's another Afghan here. Oh, we're getting to the, okay, here's a, this is called a ripple Afghan. And that is, I don't know if that's a beginner or not. It says easy. 
So it went from beginner to easy. I think I'm at the easy stage. <laughs> Not a beginner anymore, but easy. So this is the one I'm thinking about making for my son. Now it says you need a number five. I was thinking of using this yarn here because this is in the colors that he loves. Um, he's a like my Miami Dolphin fancy. And I wanted to use this Sugar Wheel Mango Puff um, that looks kind of like Miami Dolphins. Now, what number is it? I have no idea. Does it say? Where does it say? Uh, let me look at the size hook. Uh, size J. Hmm, this one calls for... Um, this one calls for a J10. This one's, this yarn says nine. I think I could make this work. I really do. I think I could. Yeah, this will work. And I'll make him this, but I don't know when I'm going to start that. Yeah, one of these days. <laughs> so what else is in here? Oh my God, this book is, oh, a diagonal shawl. What does that look like? Oh, look how pretty is that? Ooh, I like that diagonal oh hmm that's interesting that's also easy so everything in this book is beginner or easy in the back it has general instructions abbreviations oh this is nice it shows you the different sizes of yarns available the different weights um you know the gauges it, it advises what hooks you should use this is super nice. Oh my goodness. So it looks like they have intermediate and experienced patterns, but they're, they're just not in this book, but that's fine because there's enough stuff in this book to keep me busy. I like this. So um, I do not know where the subscriber got this, but um, you can go to www.leisurearts.com and probably find it there. But oh, this is so cool. And Lion Brand Yarn, I really like. So thank you, Narada, for that. So where do we go from here? Okay, <laughs> let's talk about cross stitch for a few minutes. So I got this in the mail and you are supposed to be able to, um, instead of using the bobbins for your project you're supposed to be able to use this to hold your yarn now there are no instructions <laughs> so you can write the size of the yarn or the dmc the yarn uh, i've got it all right we're in cross stitch now <laughs> the floss <laughs> We're on floss tube. All right, you can write it on these little things. I've already put one in there and it does come out. Yes, it does. Um, supposedly, there we go. You just Oh, I see, you just push it. Okay, uh, so it does come out. So you write the number, the DMC number in, and then you push it in. But I'm not sure how this, uh, this is not, obviously, that's not the way it works, but I saw this on someone's channel and it's supposed to be the next latest greatest way to store your floss, but I don't know how to use it. I'm going to figure that out and uh, get back to you on that. <laughs> um, what I'll do is in the one in the craft with me Wednesday once I've looked it up and figured it out. Oh, this bag is tearing. Um, I'll get back to you. It was um, I got this on AliExpress. Uh, I waited forever for it. I will link that in the description um, what I paid for it, um, and I ordered it late April and just got it. So um, you. The better ones are on 123stitches.com, but they were all sold out. Um, so I just wanted to give that one a shot. All right, let's move on. Oh, we're on cross stitch. So cross stitch. Oh, this I got as well. I've been holding off doing cross stitch because I was waiting for these eyeglasses. Um, 
and they go over your oh look at this they they go over your your own glass your own glasses do they which way is it oh maybe this way oh see there's the nose see i should have known <laughs> and it, it's supposed to go over your glasses and oh dear oh that could become annoying super fast huh interesting but it does fit over my glasses so now i'm trying to figure out like it has all these different magnifications like what magnification would be good for me so i was um working on the halloween um oh it's got a, it even has a needle in here so i was working on this halloween gnome on this black and i had to stop because this is a 16 uh cal ada and I really could not see it that well, you know, one, because it's black and two, because it's, it's uh, higher than a 14. So I was waiting for these. So let's see. Um, and I will uh, put in a picture of what the gnome is going to look like. So I want to see how does this work. So there's a little light on it. Look at that. Oh, do I need a battery? Because it's not it's not working hmm all right let's see i could read the directions oh look i need batteries uh okay let's see what we need does it say oh triple <laughs> a's of course i don't have any triple a's so i'm not worried so much about the light as i am the magnification so um, but I will put triple A's on my shopping list. So we have the light, but this is the part. Okay. Let's, let's look at the instructions, shall we? Okay. Operating guide. Okay. Open the battery and cover, put three triple A's in. Okay. I have to put that on my shopping list. Uh, five kinds of lenses. So there's like different magnifications of the lens. The lens angle is adjustable. The light source is adjustable. Oh, the, mo the lens is movable too. How cool. Let's pick one. Let's, uh, I'm going to pick the high. Oh, no, let's start off with the middle, shall we? There's six. I'm going to, oh, wait a minute. No, there's five. I can't even count. I'm going to pick the middle one. So let's just put this in here. I don't want to get it all fingerprinted up all right so let's put this in here i don't want to okay it just clicks but look at this it kind of it moves back and forth somehow i don't know how but it's supposed to it's supposed to go back and forth but how Hmm. 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 <laughs> See, the light is adjustable. I've got. I figured that out. And then the this will go back and forth. Huh. And I'm thinking. Of, is there a button? No. Do I, I? I guess I just push. Oh, you just just push. Okay. So that goes back and forth. All right. I'm gonna put this on. And see if that helps. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm. I don't. I don't know. Okay. You know what? <laughs> All right. Let's try the highest magnification. <laughs> let's see what that does. This one was two point oh. Let's go to. What's this one? 3.5, <laughs> shall we? Okay. Let's see if that's any better. My God, I'm blind, aren't I? All right, let's see. Whoa. Oh, way, wow. That's um, much better, oh my God. Holy moly. It's just weird, because it's on my nose. And I, I'm sure I look like the mad scientist. Yeah, oh, that's cool. But I have to keep it like super close. Wait a minute, hold on. 
What if we go out with it? I don't want to break it. Okay, hold on. So I'm literally going to be like this close to the cross stitch, which I guess that's okay. Because if I bring it out, it's fuzzy. Maybe, all right, let's try a different one. Let's try some little experiments here. I'm going to go back to that middle one because I think if I go out with it, it'll be okay. Let's see. I still feel like this is not magnified though. But at least I can, I'm out a little bit further. I, I think this one's fine. Okay. So I don't want to leave this in here. I'm not sure like how I'm going to store this. But this is a really cute little thing here. It cost me, I want to say, $35, but there's some diamond painters, cross stitchers out there that swear by these things. The really cute little case here, which goes where? Goes right here. And this goes like that. Okay. So, oh, there we go. See, everything's in here quite nicely. Oh, and then it has a head strap. Oh, that's cool. All right. I'm going to save the directions because I got to get AAA batteries. And uh, I like this. This will help my cross stitching a lot, which is kind of why it was on hold because I was waiting for this. Um, so um, before we leave cross stitching, one more project that I wanted to show you, and that is the Cheshire Cat. Okay, so I will put a picture to show you what it's supposed to look like in the end. So I finished, um, there's six chapters. I've finished chapter one. I'm starting on, now I'm just kind of doing it however I want because all the chapters have been released. So I will show you what the finished product looks like. And this one, like I said, I was holding off until I got the magnification. Um, just because I think it'll be easier for me to do cross stitching with that. Um, and then the last floss tube project that I haven't worked on in a while is my afghan. And this, um, I'm going to need to change yarn here soon, put on a new skein. What is going on here? <laughs> oh, it fell through. Okay. This color is amazing. So this is my loom knitting. Um, Here's what the afghan looks like. It's so beautiful. It's got those pinks and grays and sherbet oranges in it. Um, I just, I, I worked on this quite a bit when I was recovering after my knee surgery. So I kind of got a little burned out with it. Um, I will pick it up again soon. Um, it's just, I had to put the diamond painting away during my post-op surgery recovery. And so I've been like diamond painting like crazy. So those are my last two projects, guys. Um, as always, if you have any ideas for a craft that you'd like me to try on Craft With Me Wednesday, I am always open for ideas. Um, I hope you enjoyed looking at my progress on my various floss tube projects. And um, I will see you guys in the next videos.